as we go back and try to sell to broadcast again of like, oh yeah, what is, what is the difference between a broadcast show and a, an, uh, a streaming show where you know you're gonna, unlearning the thing, like in streaming, you know you're gonna probably watch them back to back or it, in Chugsy, mm -hmm. all the things that were beaten into us in broadcast of like, every character like, say their names a lot every week and like <laughs> repilot, like remind everybody like right. she's great at her job, but right. bad at love. Like you just, yeah. like, you just like reboot that stuff. <laughs> um, you don't have, like we had to unlearn that. And so right. I'm curious is like, oh, but do you still have to do that for broadcast? Or like, or are people watching it on NBC.com or Hulu yeah. or like what? And can, should think like sometimes if, I feel like the networks chase dramas and stuff that are more serialized, but it's like, yeah, but if it's on broadcast and you, come in and the, you sample it in the middle and you go, I don't know what's yeah. happening. Do you then fall away? Well, it must be changing the way people think about telling the story and producing things because of course, I always think the rule was on broadcast, it's like there had to be that thing explicit or implicit that made you want to tune in next week. Yeah. Tune in next week. But now people watch six at a time, or does, right. does that change the way you think about it? it we're, I feel like we're still trying to crack what that could be. What, is, what I, is that? I, my yeah. instinct is still for broadcast, there's still something about the simplicity of like, for comedy of like, I like these characters and I wanna hang out with them every week, right? Which is Big Bang Theory, right? You go, these right. guys are funny. We can jump in wherever. Right. Oh, that one's not dating that one. I get it. Yeah. Like, where are we? This so it's week. less about like, in a dramatic hook that's right. going to bring you it's not back. Not like this episode's in the thirties. Yes. You're like, what? Yeah. yeah. Um, no. uh, so I, my my instinct is that still that's still a good thing for broadcast because then it, it's so weird because if you take I don't know but you take shows like that are like that and people stream them and they must feel repetitive but I think it doesn't matter. I feel like uh, Friends is yeah, one yeah. of the biggest things like kids watching Friends on Netflix now and finding it and. They don't right. care that it's kind of repiloting every week or whatever. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> I think we were talking, no, no, I, I, I think that that's kind of an interesting distinction, just sort of that the, the comedy world is like, come, come on in, the water's warm, hang out, it's fun. It, yeah, that's As opposed to that model. hour, like, oh, next week. Yeah. Next week, but, it, but I wondered how, and you answered it, just what is the difference between the network model, where they really know there's going to be a week before you come back, right? And the streaming model, where it's a, like a chapters in a novel, right? And I think the network is trying to find a way to have yeah. it both ways. You know, that they have that show, The Good Place, uh, now on NBC, mm -hmm. which is a little more serialized, Mike Sure show, and and I think they're very pleased with how it's doing. And I'd be curious to know if it is people picking up, because now you could be like, oh, I could watch the first two online and then jump it. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. One of the many changes that is afoot in, in our business.